Hey y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. I am out here today on Watts Bar and I'm doing some catfishing. Now, here lately I feel like I'm almost jinxing myself when I do an intro like this because I go out, I film the intro, and that I don't catch jack squat the rest of the day. So I'm hesitant to do this intro, but good news, if you're seeing this right now, it means I finally got back on some fish. So stay tuned. But today is just one of those days where I'm trying to cover some water. I basically, I launched my kayak, I made a long run upstream, and my plan is to fish the main channel ledge all the way back to the car. Now, today I'm in my new canoe pursuit with the bow mount motor. This thing's still for sale if any of y'all are interested, so please hit me up if you are. But this motor has GPS functions of course heading, a spot lock, etc. So today I'm, I'm using the course heading feature. And what this does is, is on this ledge I'm on, I've got myself positioned on that main brake line. And so I got myself lined up on it, I hit the button, and now I'm letting the motor do the work for me. I don't have to fight the wind, I don't have to fight the kayak, if I hook a fish, that motor's gonna keep me on, on the line. So that's a really nice feature when you're kayak fishing. That's, that's arguably the hardest part of kayak fishing is boat control. It don't matter what species you're fishing for, controlling your kayak is the hardest part. And it's especially difficult when you're doing something like catfishing and you're fishing open water areas, you're fishing deep water structure, it, it, this thing is this is really nice for this so I'm gonna take advantage of it today now as far as what I'm doing is I, I'm trolling because I don't have any current out here TVA is not generating at all so I don't have any current so what I've done is I've got two baits dragging off the kayak behind me here and then I've got two more baits suspended off the front now I'm using cut, skipjack today it's frozen bait that I had in my freezer from last fall there uh, when I last got into some and uh, like I said I'm just going to try to cover some water and try to find these fish surface temps are 60 degrees so they could be deep they could be shallow they could be anywhere in between so the plan for today is just to cover a big section of this ledge and try to get on some uh, I fished this area actually yesterday but I couldn't really fish it well. The wind was so bad. I had huge waves coming over the front of the kayak, only caught one fish, but I did mark several fish. So I wanted to come back out here and try this area again today when I got a little better weather conditions. So we'll get after them here and hopefully we're gonna get on some. There we go. Goodness gracious. Let's get a hold of him, what do you say? Get a hold of that one. That's what we've been waiting on, buddy, right there. That's a fish. I've got the course heading set on the electric motor here. I'm using I'm in the new canoe with the bow mount motor today. So the wind's blowing upstream and this fish is pulling me backwards, so it's got me spun, but the motor's turned and it'll get us straightened out here. I'm just following along that main brake line right on this ch main channel ledge. I was dragging this bait along when this one hit. It feels like a decent fish. There he goes, buddy. Pulling. He's got some fight in him. That's what we after right there. we go. Come on in here. Alright. <laughs> Some good fish guys. <laughs> there you go. Been waiting on this fish all winter long. Spring's finally here. We got us a decent one. Nice fish. Fun fight. It's good to be back out here on some fish again. <laughs> Let's let him go. Get back after him. Take off, buddy. There he goes, back where he come from. He's on there. He's on there. He's on there. second one today dragging I had one chew up my bait there on one of the suspended rods that's been the only action I've got on them I don't think this one here is no golly whopper that we after but I'll take any action I can get today 
Oh yeah, look at this fella right here. <laughs> look at this thing right here, man. He's a beast, ain't he? Look at this. <laughs> Get in here, buddy. Look at this thing. <laughs> Hook out of you. There we go. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, you can see he's got mud all down his back there. He's been buried in it, I guess. Wallering around and something down there. There we go. He's a fish, though. We'll take him. Let me show you all what I'm talking about here. So, this is where I am on the graph. Now, you can see I've got myself positioned here right along this brake line on this main channel ledge. You can tell it's a brake line because right here, this is all consistent, consistent depth, and then all of a sudden you see all these lines real close together. That means there's a significant change, and it goes up here real shallow. And I'm just following along right there on that brake line. That's where those fish are going to be. They use those brake lines to cruise up and down structures like that. So yeah, I can see I'm going 0.6 miles per hour right now. That's kind of the speed I've been going, 0 0.5, 0 0.7 in there. And I'm just cruising that ledge all the way down through here. He's after it. Taking at it. Why don't you take it one time? Let's just see if he's on there. I think he is. Yep. He's on there. He's on there. We got us one. Tell you what, we ain't had no action on the suspended baits today, but we at least get hit on the dragon baits. And that's why, you know, that's why I like to troll like this, just to give them a variety because, you know, some days you'll come out and you'll be trolling uh, like this with baits suspended and baits dragging. All your hits will come on the suspended baits. Another day, like today, you'll come out, all your action will be dragging. So it's good to have a variety and just mix it up. That way you're always giving the fish what they want. They ain't the size we after, but my gosh, it's a fish and they fun to catch. Let's get him on up in here. <laughs> Let's let him go. Go get bigger for me. This wind's kicking up, so I don't know how well you're gonna be able to hear me or not, but my dragon set up here is what you've seen in my other videos. I've got these 30 inch long dragging sinkers. I'll put a little link up here at the top of your screen if you want to learn how to make these. I've got a leader here, it's four and a half, five foot long. I got a float, a rattle, down to an eight aught Gamagatsu circle hook, and then a chunk of skipjack. And I just throw that out there. A day like today where there's a little bit of chop on the water from the wind, I'll let my baits out a little bit further. Basically, when you when you let your line out and you're trying to figure out how much line you need to let out in a given day when you're dragging baits, I let the I let the situation, the circumstances dictate that. If it's a calm day, there's no wind, uh, not a lot of boat traffic, I don't I don't put a lot of line out. I don't have to. Days like today, there's a little bit of chop on the water. I'll let out quite a bit of line because what that does, the more line you have out. When the water is bouncing the kayak around and, and, and going up and down, the more line you have out, the more smoother your bait's going to go through the water. And that's what I want to do. I want it to go through very smoothly down there. I don't want it doing this down through there. So I'm going to let out quite a bit of line and we'll get back to it here. All right, y'all, I am back where I started. So I'm about to wrap it up and call it a day. You know, today I certainly didn't set social media on fire with my catches today, but I got that one decent blue cat and a couple other dinks. So I'm happy with it. You know, today was just a beautiful, warm spring day on this Easter weekend, and I got out here and had a good time and had some fun. So I hope you all were able to enjoy your time on this weekend as well. Happy Easter, everybody. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.